Good morning everyone. This is the morning tales for May 17, 2019 and I have put up a clip over here for the paper pattern of both NABARD grade A and grade B, particularly for the phase 1. Here you can see that general awareness holds 20 marks. So it holds an important position in terms of uh, getting an edge over in the examination. So do prepare and watch the morning tales so that you can just retain on the knowledge for general awareness. Let's begin with the morning tales and simultaneously you have to answer in the comment section. What is the corpus of the venture capital fund launched by NABAD? Very very important question and might come in the examination. So in, in a first of its kind move, NABAD has come up with a venture capital fund. Usually what used to happen, they used to contribute to the other funds till now. But now they have come up with their own fund which is to provide big boost to the agri related ventures and the improvements of the rural livelihoods. As the name suggests, NABAT is launched so pertaining to the agriculture and rural development. So the corpus of this fund is 700 crore which is bifurcated into 500 crore which is the original corpus and 200 crore which is the green shoe option. So it's important that you learn about the corpus, the organization which has launched the fund and the purpose of the fund. Particularly if we go into detail then NAB Ventures which is the subsidiary of NABAD. They have launched this fund NAB Ventures Fund 1 which is of 700 crore corpus. Also there was this news when RBI sold its stake in NABAD that is also important. Now NABAD is completely held by government of India. It's very important. One thing which is important regarding NABAD is the headquarters. To, so do you know where are the headquarters of NABAD located? Mention that in the comment section where are the headquarters of NABAD established. So the next question is polydactonomine PDK which is the 100% recyclable plastic. So the scientists have discovered the 100% recyclable plastic. You know what harm is plastic doing to the environment. So 100% recyclable plastic has been developed. And which country has developed? So answer which country has developed the uh, plastic which is 100% recyclable. So the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory which is the laboratory of US Department of Energy. They have developed this 100% uh, recyclable plastic which is named as polydactomani. So the answer for this question is USA. Now there was this convention where the plastic has been recently added as a hazardous chemical or the regulation of plastic would be done when it's being traded between the countries. I explained about that convention in the previous video. So I'm giving you three options, the Basel Convention, Rotterdam and the Stockholm. What do you think or in which convention was the plastic added as a hazardous element? So next is what is the outstanding bank deposits as on March 31st, 2019 as, are the, as per the RBI research. So as per the RBI research paper, it was found out that the deposit with the bank is lower than the growth of the credits. So what do you think is the uh, outstanding deposit as on March 31st, 2019? So if we look at this figure, the aggregate deposit stand at 125, approximately 125 lakh crore. So answer for this question is 125 lakh crore and the deposits actually accounted for 128.7% of the outstanding bank credit. So earlier uh, in the previous year the it stands at 132.5% but now they stand at 127, 128.7% approximately 10% is the fall which is there in the outstanding bank deposit as compared to the outstanding bank credit. And what do you think is the major reason behind the fall in the deposit growth? So it was found out that the um, according to RBI they believe that uh, the interest rate was not the reason but the disposable income of the household was more important factor than the interest rate for the deposit mobilization. This is very important that it was disposable income which were considered as the reason for the fall in the bank deposits rather than the interest rate both in the short run and the long run. Now there were some measures which could be taken to improve this condition. Now how can the deposits grow? So financial inclusion is one of the major step which could be used so that we can boost the deposit mobilization in the long run. 
so uh, what is the current situation that aggregate deposits a standard 125 lakh crore and they have fallen by approximately 10% and financial inclusion inclusion is one of the way to improve the uh, mobilization of the deposits in the long run very important from the rbi point of view now moving on to the next question who has been appointed as the new chairman of itc who do you think was the previous chairman of itc he died recently therefore after the death of that person the new chairman has been appointed for itc and he is sanjeev puri one more additional information which is there in this question is ak dingra so who is ak dingra he has been recently appointed so he is the first head of the country's first tri services do you remember the tri services a department which has been recently launched by government of india special operations division and ak dingra has been appointed as the first head of the tri services this is very important for the upcoming nabard examination so ak dingra has been appointed as the head of the tri services and particularly which is known as the special operations division so what you need to mention in the comment section the name of the person the earlier former chairman of the itc which who died recently so where will be the army international scout masters competition 2019 held so this is for the first time that india is going to co-host remember this thing india is going to co-host this event in jaisalmer not only we are going to co-host this but we are the participant along with the other seven participants so who all are the other seven participants russia kazakhstan uzbekistan armenia zimbabwe china belarus and india so these are the eight nations which are going to participate in the in this army international scout masters which will be held in jaisalmer and it will be held in the month of august now the question particularly for you where is the thrissur puram festival observed so this is kind of the mother festival of this state very very important festival of this state who in which state do you think this thrissur puram festival is observed so simultaneously participate and tell me in the comment section in which state is the thrissur puram festival observed so this is all for the today's morning tales and do not forget to subscribe to our channel along with this you can press the bell icon as well so that you do not miss on any of the updates as well so do not forget to watch the previous morning tales videos and thank you so much for watching the video